What's up everybody and welcome into this drum lesson with me, SEW Drums. This lesson what we're going to be learning is that 16th note crossover fill that you just saw me demonstrate. So let's go ahead and break this thing down and I'll show you how to play it. Okay, so in this particular fill, this fill is two bars long. So let's have a look at the first bar and break that down. Okay, so in the first bar, what the pattern or chop you're going to be playing is simply right, left, kick, kick, repeated four times. And how we're going to count that chop or pattern is in 16th notes. So we count it as one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Let's take a look at the first four notes of this bar. So the right, left, kick, kick, the first right hand you're going to place on your hi-hat. The left hand is going to be on the floor tom, and then you've got a kick, kick. Then the second group of four notes, you've got to switch your hands around. So your right hand's going to be on the floor tom, your left hand's going to be on the hi-hat, and then you've got a kick, kick. And then the third group of four notes, what you've got is a right hand on the snare, left hand on the high tom, kick, kick. And then for the last four notes of the bar, you've got your right hand back on the floor tom, and your left hand back on the hi-hat, and then to follow with kick, kick. That's the first bar. Okay, so in the second bar, all you're going to be doing is exactly the same as what you did in the first bar, but with the last four notes, you're going to replace with right, left, right, left on the floor tom. I'm going to demonstrate this at a couple of different tempos for you. We're going to start off slow at 70 BPM, and then we're going to work our way all the way up to the final BPM of 180. So if you've reached this part of the video, I'm guessing that you have made it through the lesson. So thank you very much for watching. If you liked this video and you'd like to see more, hit that subscribe button and the like button. And I'm going to be bringing out some more lessons in the near future. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at SCWDrums. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.